teammate. Uh, you can use a glide to go out and glide. You can glide use the glide, glide attack. You can use tornado. You can use up air, down air. He just has so many options to save his teammate, especially since in this game, you know, with momentum canceling and double stick DI and all that stuff, you you just live very long. But we're actually going to see. Uh, Meta Knight, Meta Knight, Snake. And I, I think Kios plays Zero Suit, so. Yep. Uh, this is Kiaz and who is who is he with right now? Is he with? I did not catch him. Yeah, I have no idea. But However, uh, ZSS and teams is very interesting because it changes depending on how many items. It depends on when the item pieces are on at the start and when they're off. This is gonna be a different team play. Okay, so yeah, the item pieces. You already see that uh, that they're going for throwing the item pieces off right now. Mike Ray uh, just threw them off immediately. I believe Mike Ray, Mike Ray is uh, Meta Knight, correct? Yes. Or is he Snake? No, Mike Ray Mike is, is Meta Knight, and oh. Cody is Cody's Okay, teammate. okay, okay. I see. But, um, yeah, just opting to throw the armor pieces. There is still one in play, though, and Zero Suit, uh, I'd say, becomes a much better character at the start of the match when she has the item pieces because she has options of glide tossing. She has better options out of shield because you can throw items out of shield. Uh, overall, really interesting character dynamic that you just don't really see in other fighting games where the character is very strong at the start of the match when she has these on deck. And from what I was seeing earlier, Kiaz, uh, he's really good at the glide toss stuff. He is, as we saw there, he had only, uh, uh, Hinkage immediately went in to take that his way, but he didn't take them all away, and Koi's uh, stuck to the, the last one he had and used it very well while he had. Yeah, and Cody, uh, looking like the healthiest person on, stre on uh, screen right now, Meta Knight obviously has a decent amount of survivability. He's not the heaviest character, but like, doesn't really His matter because is so yeah, because uh, frame frame three up there, I believe, right? Like two, yeah. Frame two up, and he can put out. It ends on frame twelve, so he can do a double. He can do double, cancel, yeah, yeah. Which just stops your momentum completely. Having a fast option out of hit stun in this game is really good for momentum canceling. And Meta Knight probably is the best one out of all of them. So, <laughs> however, uh, for Hinkage, he has to watch out because even with he still has Meta Knight's momentum cancel. But Zero Suit Samus on ledge traps. A uh, lot of damage. A lot of damage, and her side B uh, is not only very large. It's about as useful. It's an incredibly useful tool on teams. Mm -hmm. if you see covers it, a lot of space. Covers a lot. You can, you don't have to fully commit to a close approach because yeah. your teammate can stop you from any of the, can interrupt the end lag from it with like a jab or just get in front of you so you don't get punished. Nice snare from Cody. Taking it stuck. We've be seen a lot of Meta Knight edge guards in this. Yeah, this for sure. <laughs> Cody uh, making great utilization of Shuttle Loop in this game. Uh, obviously, you know, invincible on startup. It covers so much area, incredibly safe. It really doesn't, uh, it doesn't have, a, it has a weak hitbox on the top, but that's, it takes, a, it has a lot of coverage weak. where it's strong. <laughs> or you might just get the reverse sweet spot that hits you backwards. Yeah, and kill it like 50. Meta Knight Shuttle Loop is, it's sometimes something I forget about. Nice, great team combo. They're they're not really allowed to go for the. Uh, so you see them setting it up now, the sticky into up throw setup. They're not really allowed to go for that until they have a lead. Yeah. So if they're down, uh, they're gonna need to pick up well, momentum. The Meta Knight has point four, so if he does do it, he won't die. He won't die. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's an interesting mechanic, and in, uh, and one of the things, one of the many things that makes Snake Meta Knight a good team, is you know how Meta Knight goes completely off stage mm -hmm. for his. Uh, up, here's up throw. If Snake plants a C4 on his teammate Meta Knight, and Meta Knight has a higher priority than the person he grabs, he just won't. He'll, it will go up. The C4 will detonate, and Meta Knight will, Meta take, Knight will take, take no hits done, no, but his no opponent damage. will. Yeah. So they they get blasted off the top. Meta Knight comes down. Mm -hmm. It's a really interesting mechanic with uh, how poor priority works in this game. And here we see two V1s in uh, Brawl. You, I rarely see someone overcome this just because with so much option coverage. I, I feel like that's the case in most Smash games yeah. too, but finds a nice back air. Uh, right. 2v1s just inherently are a, a pretty bad position to be in, especially when there's you know, a potent punishing character like Zero Suit Samus and a, uh, a character that can just be everywhere, Meta like Knight. Meta Knight. Uh, it's, it's very hard to find the opening, but uh, regardless, does find the opening there and gets to Dacus out of the dash tag. And what we saw with Space Mouse, especially in the one on right now, is Cody was off stage and he really hasn't regained neutral. Yeah, he's fishing for that up tilt now. Covering some good space these Daxes. Forward tilt, kind of space him out a little bit. Nice NATO to break up the pressure a little bit. Got to be careful of that grenade. With, uh, yeah. Nice. 
Mike Ray is right now trying to either uh, state, either get stage control or damage off of grenades or just all these explosions, and then finally get the up he's looking yep. for. Yep, I, I really like the um, the choices, the normals, the moves that Mike Ray is picking in this 2v1 right now. Uh, he was doing good against the Zero Suit and obviously took her out, so I guess it's a 1v1 now, but yeah. like, he's picking his spots very well. He's not really over committing to too much. And Cody's Gonna see a beer verse here, yep. Cody's also doing very well, respecting I'm at kill percent. Yeah, knows. I, but I'm still Meta Knight. I have to play patiently. So is Snake. I, I know Meta Knight's at 130, but uh, you just got to respect how strong of a character Snake is. Like, basically anything will kill you right now. Up tilt, forward up tilt, tilt. Absolutely. If he gets that F tilt too. F tilt dealing 21 damage raw. Raw, yeah. Making it very good nice. at shield, d damaging a shield and able to get a ledge strap on him. Mm -hmm. So Micra actually, uh, you were saying, Did rarely see the 2v1 Mike, Mike get Ray closed decided, out. Actually, no. Well, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I think Snake is a, a pretty good character at it, too, because Snake has a lot of survivability, a lot of kill power, and just has a lot of landing mix-ups. And even with that, a lot of stage presence, even as one mm -hmm. character. That Dacus covers that, the Dac a lot of the stage, so mm -hmm. Snake can, he can use that for mobility, he can use that to cover stage control, he can use that to just get his like positioning for his extremely big normals yeah. like it's just overall really powerful especially in doubles like covering stage presence as snake in doubles seems to just be incredibly strong yep. and uh they're going back to smashville for game two i don't think that they uh were doing much wrong there i feel like they could have just i feel like red team is picking their spots a little better and Ooh. uh kia's hey. With a semi SD there, got put yeah, up stage, but he didn't quite get the recovery see. right. With tether characters, uh, you cannot grab the ledge if you are below, below yeah, uh, the vertical. Below the, of the vertical, ledge. yeah. Or the vertex or whatever it's called. That's unfortunate because, like, okay, I'm gonna see an up air. I, there's so it's many mix ups out of that, too. Out of the down in, smash, you can do teams, back air, yeah. In teams, it's incredible because, especially if it comes a 2v1 situation, or like while a character's dying. Your teammate can just run up Your and do can something. Run up and footstool them, and then the zero is another. Can yeah, the infinite. Yeah. Or and when it's over, you can just go for like a strong forward smash or something. Strong forward smashers have midnight. Pick a kill. Them. Do anything. Yeah, down smash. <laughs> like we're seeing, uh, Cody and Koi's are currently in the lead, but not by much. Uh, this is definitely not not a comfortable lead. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I I don't actually know. I know Mike Ray and Hinkage are a very old school like pretty static for all team like they have really good synergy with each other and i think that that's what's causing them to win these situations is they they have the situational awareness there's the port four but uh they have the situational awareness that kiaz and uh that was a really cody. early kill on that yeah. c4 too but kiaz and cody you know individually great players of course and what uh red team i think is doing well that's definitely giving them the uh is really helping them so far in the set is their stage presence is incredible thus not only is the snake using his grenades but the men knights also being wary of where Back they are yep. and where he should be to cover where their grenades they're covering each other very well they are and, and cody and koi's aren't getting over opening to start something or, or when they do it's rare okay got two 1v1s right now um Red team with a bit of an advantage here, having a stock on Meta Knight. Got to be sweating a little bit, but he does find it there. Cody with the forward smash. Koi's has to be careful. Uh, tether characters in doubles right, have a problem good. of two people can now grab ledge to edgeguard you. Yeah, that's that much harder that's really back. unfortunate because like, you know, they already have a bit of a hard time getting back onto the stage in some situations. So as an Olimar main, it's literally the reason I can't go Olimar in dubs. Yeah, finds the up tilt there. Good stuff from Mike Ray. Now it's up to Cody, the platform. They got the sticky on. That means any grab is going to take this. Sticky is on Mike Ray right now, I think. I believe so. It trans unlike in PM, where you are still going to see a snake sticky place, it transfers, transfers every on time. Contact. It's a sticky bomb. There we go. Like sticky bomb. And that is going to be a 2-0. I believe that winner semis is a best of three. So, yeah, that is going to be the end of that set. Mike Ray and Hinkage.